Hello YouTube, a few years ago I recorded a video called uh, Dutch Brown Bean Soup. Mm, after a while I realized that some things are hard to find in the United States or any other places in the world. So I was thinking, perhaps could I um, change some things and do some things from scratch. Um, because that might be available in other places. So, um, a few days ago I uh, read something on the internet about the Dutch brown bean soup and that some people used pinto beans. So, I started to my local grocery shop and was looking for pinto beans. Unfortunately, they only had them canned. But <laughs> that, be my, be, uh, that might be a new experiment because I never used canned beans in soup. So um, I have, uh, I bought four of those tin cans and the other stuff uh, that I need. Um, Besides the pinto beans, we need some other veggies too. Um, I bought celery, roots, celery, this is going to be cubed. Um, four leeks, some carrots, tomato paste. Um, one or two, um, <laughs> this is something I need to try too, because um, I'm doing it from scratch, so it's a matter of taste, I guess. Um, bouillon cubes. Brushes the sauce. Garlic. Um, black pepper. Uh, close, but uh, grounded. A few onions and a few potatoes. Um, because the Dutch uh, rookworst smoked sausage isn't uh, available in the in some kind of in some places, so I use regular sausages. And approx three and a half pounds of pork. The cheapest you can find is perfectly, um, yeah, it's perfectly, you can use it. So <laughs> I've washed, cut, and cubed uh, all the veg, all the vegetables, and um, this way it's more easy to tell the amounts. I used four pieces of leek, um, five or six small onions, if you use larger ones, uh, three or four would be enough, uh, five or six potatoes, um, those are cubed and uh, they are gonna dissolve in the soup later, one uh, middle size uh, root celery, um, a few carrots, um, it's pretty the same amount as the potatoes and this is the normal celery so um, um, while I was uh, washing and cutting those vegetables um, I put the pork in another pan and boil it, boiled it um, I use a separate pan because um, this pork um, has bones and <laughs> um, if I made a soup and I would use um, only one pan there might be a small chance that there would be some bones left in the soup and I don't like it. So after a while I uh, put the pork from the pan and cubed it and put it in the soup when it's almost done. 
I put everything together in the pan and cut the pork and I opened the tin cans with pinto beans and I was actually surprised. Um, they are uh, pretty much the same as our Dutch brown beans. So mm, I'm excited uh, <laughs> um, for what it uh, tastes like. So um, I put this in the pan with the other vegetables and I decided to put these a bit later because they are pre-boiled I assume to, at least and normally I use dry uh, brown brown beans and soak them overnight but yeah <laughs> Since I uh, since I can't find them, I have to deal with this. So back in a moment. The soup is almost ready, um, but um, I have to do a few things. Um, I'm going to add the broth cubes and some pepper. It's all a matter of your own taste, of course. Uh, ground it um, close. This um, is the sauce. And the tomato paste and salt. And after that it should be done. The end result. I had to add more um, broth to it and the other stuff, um, but uh, I do this on purpose because um, it's easier um, to put something in than to put it out. <laughs> so um, I've tasted, and uh, I have to say, the pinto beans <laughs> works um, works perfectly. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to notice a difference, so, um, yes, um, <laughs> if I ever um, had a plan to leave the Netherlands, I could perfectly live with this as a um, substitute. So, um, I add all the measurements and, and um, ingredients um, in a description box, because um, um, <laughs> while I'm... Um, making the soup, um, it is um, not easy to um, to use the exact measurements because um, in the Netherlands we use a metric system and in the US it is a bit different. So I'm gonna take some from these and um, bye bye. <laughs> 